Swedish archaeologists are trying to solve a 1,500-year-old murder mystery. At the ancient ring fort of San Biborg, dozens of pre-Viking warriors were brutally killed and left to rot where they fell. The death toll is shocking. But what could have provoked the perpetrators to wipe out so many people? One theory is this was not a military attack, but a robbery. But the team suspects a different story. Because it wasn't just the victims' bodies that were left behind, but exquisite hoards of gold and fine jewelry. Dr. Helena Victor has been studying the Norse valuables found at the site, the most precious of which are gilded silver brooches with intricate mythical designs. All of the brooches are unique, and some of them include parts of what we think are old Norse sagas or mythology. The late 5th century style of these brooches has led experts to date the massacre to around 480 AD. Each one of these prized pieces would have been the sacred keepsake of the ruling family of a local tribe, passed on from generation to generation. These brooches were worn by highborn petty queens, possibly, and they were made to be seen. It's like a crown. Everyone knew your status when you were wearing this. This makes the number of brooches found particularly astonishing. In total, the team has uncovered seven. We have never found these many in one place. Usually find one. It was mind-boggling. But what could explain so many brooches in one place? For Dr. Helena Victor, it suggests the highest ranking members of a number of tribes may have come together at San Biborg for what would be a fateful gathering. Maybe they were meeting to form an alliance or negotiate for peace. Maybe they were there to celebrate the wedding. We don't really know, but we do know that they probably never left. For the archaeologists, the presence of so many riches at the murder scene suggests the violent attack at San Biborg can't have been motivated by the lure of treasure. Even the ring fort itself would have been invaluable to anyone seizing it. Sat on the very edge of the Baltic Sea, it could have controlled valuable trade routes for hundreds of miles. But there is no evidence that anyone ever lived here after the massacre. But if the motive behind the mass murder at Sandby Borg wasn't military or a robbery, what was it? It's unlike any post-mortem ritual they've ever seen in Norse tradition.